have you ever been in presence of a person who constantly gaslights you, manipulates you, makes you feel bad about yourself? Whenever you're in presence of this person, all you want is for their words to stop affecting you. Because there's nothing good that ever comes out of their mouth. If you have such a person in your life, or if you're struggling with someone like this, then, well, you've come to the right place. That is exactly what I'm going to be discussing. How to desensitize yourself towards another person. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Guild Free Mind. I am Dr. Shruti Vracharya, owner and author of guildfreemind.com and in this video I will be discussing how to desensitize yourself towards someone so that their words don't act as knives on your heart. Now why do you need to desensitize yourself? Why can you not just have a sit down discussion with this other person and tell them that there is something you do not like? And there is something that's pinching you, hurting you, uh, feeling like knives on your chest and you want it to stop. And well, they can change their attitude and the world's a better place. But the reality is that the world is not a better place. And such people, if they've been repeatedly doing this to you, they are not going to change in the future either. The only thing you can do is protect yourself. Now, such people are such people can be either a narcissistic partner, narcissistic parents, they can be emotional manipulators, or they can constantly gaslight you. If you don't know the meaning of gaslight, go check out my blog. I have an entire blog post on gaslighting. <laughs> I guess you are having two hosts for this video. So, anyways, continuing with the video. So the next question that arises is that where can this happen or who are the people who can do this to you? Now this can be anyone, but mostly this is done by someone who has hold certain level of power over you. They can either be your parents, if you have narcissistic parents or if your parents who love manipulating you and getting their way or your partner, or it can also happen in the workplace. Yeah, your work is good, but you know, if you've done it like that, like that, like that, and it can have many forms. It may not always come outright as, oh, you are wrong. And what you do is useless and it's worthless and you are absolute, an absolutely worthless person. It may not always come out like that. It may be sugar-coated, but at the end, inside that full big cake is a knife. Those words... At the end of the whole discussion, what you will take away are the negative points. If you're constantly feeling negative after talking to someone, you need to desensitize yourself towards that person. Now, desensitization is basically taking that power over away from them. See, people can affect us only when we give them power over us. If a person, like any person on the road, you know, goes and comes to your face and gives you an abuse, says an abuse and leaves, calls you something, calls you names or does something. You've never seen that person. Before. Will it affect you? Two minutes, you laugh about it, you'll crack a joke over it. Years later, you'll remember it as something that happens once upon a time and you'll forget about it. It will not hold importance to you. But if that same person is your parent, your partner, someone from your workplace or a very close friend of yours or someone you're thinking to propose to, those words you will remember for your lifetime and in a very very hurtful way not in a comic way not in a way that oh that guy or girl was mad and this happened not like that that is something that will be a forever scar on your heart and we have all met such people the problem is do we know how to keep ourselves desensitized towards such people in our lives that is what i will discuss before I get into the nitty gritty of the 10 points that I plan to discuss, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Your subscription allows the YouTube algorithm to let you know when the video is out. Please like the video, leave a comment because these are the ones that actually boost the algorithm and allows the video to be shown to people who may not have watched it yet. Thank you so much in advance and now let's get into the details. Point number one, understand how the pain is affecting you. This will tell you why you need to desensitize yourself. If it's a one-time thing, you can always let it go. But if it's something that is happening so frequently that you're even afraid of meeting with that person, 
then that's a huge red flag and that cannot be ignored now if that person's words have no impact on you and you're okay and yeah whatever i doesn't care it doesn't matter to me and i'm okay it's not affecting your emotional health it's not affecting your physical health you can go about your work and your life without any problems then it's okay that person's words do not affect you to the point where you need to desensitize yourself but if this person's words affect you to the point where you cannot sleep you're laying awake thinking of what that person said to you and how much it hurts you want to reach out to that person fix it because nothing else is going on in your mind except for those words and they are so hurtful it's like a repeated knife being you know like plunged into your heart every second you think of it you're trying to distract yourself that's not working you're not able to work so basically if it has a huge negative impact on your emotional physical mental health it's keeping you from doing your best at work or leading a normal life then you need to start to desensitize yourself start to distance yourself from the person and desensitize yourself now in terms of desensitizing the first thing that you can do is let's come to point number two set up boundaries if this person is someone who's a call or a text away reduce your communications if you don't want them to you know immediately realize that you're moving away then slowly slowly gradually reduce it if they are someone who are absolutely toxic to you and you want them immediately gone then just send them a text that i don't want to talk to you ever again i'm sorry but this is something i need to do for myself and end the communication and don't ever get in contact with such people again because uh 99.99 percent of the times such people are incapable of improving because as per them what they are doing is right and if there is nothing wrong they've done then where is the correction even needed so set up boundaries if you were talking to this person like 10 times a day reduce it to five or reduce it to seven just start reducing it tell them okay i'm going to be working now for four hours sorry please don't disturb me put your phone on do not disturb focus on your work so that even if that person wants to get in touch with you you already told them right that you won't be available you won't be available make those stretches longer eventually tell them that you're busy the whole day or whatever whatever works for you and whatever would be convincing to them Use whatever works for you and distance yourself from them. Set up boundaries. Tell them to what discussions are allowed and what kind of discussions are not allowed. If that's your parent who has a habit of getting into your personal life, tell them this is my personal life. And I'm not comfortable discussing this with you. Now you can think whatever you want, but this is where I draw the line. And beyond this, I am not going to be discussing things with you. Tell them. Let them know till where they can come and beyond where they are not allowed. They need to know that. So set up your boundaries. Point number three, choose your reaction. Now when I say choose your reaction, what I mean is that someone comes and someone's gaslighting you and you know that that person's trying to gaslight you. What would your response be? You will try to go and confront that person, right? You will try to tell them that what you're doing is wrong and I do not deserve such treatment for you. But in case of such people usually that falls on deaf ears they will also use your words against you and they will try to manipulate you with that as well they may try to start to cry or they may show you the hundreds of times that they've done things for you and make you feel like you are the most ungrateful person on the planet and uh, show you that they've been so kind and so nice to you and this is what they get for being nice and kind and everything to you and well as i said ungrateful and stuff like that so if you are not ready for an all-out war with them, if you don't have the points to go up against them, and if you cannot prove, like like a lawyer literally, that they are wrong and you are right, then just don't go the verbal way. Distance yourself slowly, 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 and put as much distance as possible. And when you meet them, try to stay quiet. Don't bother to even reply to them because when you reply to them and when you say that, no, you're wrong, that's adding fuel to the fire. If you don't add fuel to the fire, they are saying something, you don't even respond, you are like, yeah, okay, fine, okay, fine, okay, fine. They will not get the pleasure of instigating you. If the pleasure is not there, then there is no fun in the game. And if there is no fun in the game, then they are less likely to play it. So do not give them the pleasure of feeling that they are winning this discussion. Keep a poker face, just don't let their words, don't let them know that their words is affecting you. 
even if it does affect just keep your emotions absolutely schooled cold composed they will feel that it's very cold because obviously their words are not getting the right responses as they wanted but keep yourself composed and do not respond to it do not give them that power over you point number 4 focus on yourself and focus on yourself i mean focus on your self care if you're living with this person who tends to gaslight you at every moment or is has a very auditory kind of manipulative way as in they like to constantly go on and on and on about every every wrong things you've done in your life just put on headphones if you still have to survive in that environment put on headphones put on some white noise and uh, get about your work make sure that you have some work to do because if you're sitting Even if you have white noise on, your brain will constantly go to what are they saying about me? What are they saying about me? So have white noise and do some work. Have a routine. Follow the routine to the T. Keep your mind busy, mind, body. Keep yourself physically and mentally busy all hours of the day. This way, your brain will have something to focus on, and it will not focus on all the negativity and toxicity around you. Go on hikes. Go on walks. spend time outside meet other people this will recharge your brain it will give you a much needed dose of positivity and it will boost that self resilience of yours that you need to carry on under such circumstances try to move away from such people if you're someone who's still a student or you know you're not earning enough to support yourself on your own then as i said distance yourself away tell them i need a few hours to do this work or go to a cafe to work or go find a library or a co-working space where you can work basically spend time outside the home as much possible and finally as i mentioned before clearly communicate to them your boundaries that i will be available from so and so time but from this and to this time i have work and i will not be available they'll scream they'll shout they'll uh, call you ungrateful maybe for two or three days and then they will eventually understand that you are really not available and it will calm down but you have to be ready to take that initial you know outburst from them for 2 to 3 days but eventually it will get better trust me point number 5 with all of this toxicity going on on around you suppose you are waking up to people screaming near your ears or you're going to sleep wondering what will happen in the next morning when you open your eyes if you have so much of frustration going on around you you need to find a way to release it Now if you're someone who's inclined towards music you can sing you can listen to songs but listening to songs is not actually a way of putting your feelings out so if you're someone who likes to write you can write poems just let those feelings that are you know constantly inside you and are bundled up inside you just let them flow out if you're someone who likes playing instruments like synthesizer i play synthesizer violin So if you like playing musical instruments then go and play them release your frustration to them if you like writing you need to start brain dumping basically every 2 or 3 hours pick up a notebook write whatever comes to your mind write about the toxicity just write it all out write till you feel better write it all out or if you are new to journaling then have a certain times of the day when you will pick up your journal and you will write specifically after waking up and specifically before going to bed If you like doodling or if you like any of the other art forms you can also engage in those. Doodling is basically you take your paper and you take a pencil and you just make doodles around it or if you like painting or there are so many painting apps nowadays you can try anything out but my numbers are also there. So basically the world is your canvas you can do anything. And here is you wishing you all a very happy day. So point number 6 learn to be mindful. and also learn the art of distraction yes yeah, like zeus is here distracting me from this video yeah you're very cute so learn to be mindful use mindfulness meditation apps learn to be in the present moment do not let whatever is going on there drag you down and when whatever is going on there is quiet then train your brain to recognize the quiet and the peace as well train your brain to be in the present not in the past not in the future and also train your brain to distract yourself so suppose someone said came a lot of nasty things to you told you a lot of nasty things called you names and everything and then left now what's happening in your head is you're ruminating over whatever was said instead of ruminating distract yourself put on netflix put on a game on your phone do whatever works for you you have to find out which distraction works for you the best read a book 
do a paint make a painting or write down in your journal something apart from what happened i mean the purpose of the purpose here is to distract yourself so write short stories poems or do anything that will keep your mind take your mind off of what happened that is distraction and why distraction is needed is because your brain needs a bit of time to cool down so that you can actually look at the whole thing with a clear head and clear you know like like when we are angry there is a haze over the entire situation so this dissociating yourself from the issue and giving your brain a much needed time to rest just allows your focus to come back sharper and you focus on the areas that you need to focus instead of the areas that have been highlighted by all the shouts and the screams and the toxicity in your environment point number 7 understand why that person is behaving this way is that person jealous of you is it because you're earning more than them or they want things from you and you're not able to provide whatever they want to them and maybe that's the reason or is is it that they have low self esteem and you're doing well and they just cannot see you doing well again a cause of jealousy or is that that they don't have a moral compass at all like with narcissists you take away their attention they will do anything to get back they just love the attention they don't care if it's manipulating you they're manipulating you they're gaslighting you as long as they are the focus of attention that is what they want so similarly if they are if your partner is gaslighting you is it because of jealousy is it because you're making more money than your partner is it because your partner has low self esteem and thinks that you know they will never be able to be as successful as you and so instead of trying to be better they want to drag you down what is it is it because they had unrealistic expectations from you and when those expectations did not get fulfilled they decided to act out in this way so you have to find out what the reason is because this knowing the reason will give you closure that will keep you from wondering why me why am i facing all of this why is all of this happening to me that's all point number 8 seek support Now you can either ask for support from your colleagues if the situation is at your workplace and they know your boss it's easier that way you can ask your family or friends to be your support system or you can look for a support group online you can join them look for support groups where people have faced similar situations that way they will be able to give you advice that is workable and they will also be able to empathize with you as in because they really know what you're going through they've been through that or they are also going through it So their empathy and when they say that I understand you will feel that yeah they truly understand and they're just not saying it to you. So seek support. Point number 9. Look over the situation with a logical mindset. Now logic tends to go out of the window when we are angry. That is why you need to first distract yourself, cool yourself down and then look over the entire situation logically. what that person says is really going to hurt you can you move away what are your options how can you combat the same situation next time it happens because you know it will happen and the best person who can find out what to do in such situations is you because i am not there you are and you can figure out how best to combat and handle the situation next time it arises so that your mental health is at least stable And finally point number 10 as i mentioned before start to distance yourself if it's a, if you are living in the same house then start to stay uh, start to stay outside more spend more time in cafes libraries co working spaces do your work outside just stay outside the whole day come back to the house sleep and repeat the same thing the next day if they are over people over call text way easier to distance yourself then <laughs> but well These are the 10 points about how to deal with people who want to just take you down and how to desensitize yourself towards someone when you need it. I hope these points help. Please let me know in the comment section if you try any of these and how was what was the situation where you were stuck if you wish to share? How did you come out of it? If there are any other potential solutions you think I did not put up in this video, please let me know about those as well. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Thank you.